My name is William Wallace. I worked with Sir Arthur Eddington on proving Einstein's theory of relativity by measuring the positions of stars during the solar eclipse of 1919. We were attempting to prove that, like I said, Albert Einstein's theory of relativity was correct. We had two different teams uh, measuring the positions of stars. One was off the west coast of Africa and uh, on an island called Principe. The other was in Brazil. So in 1919, World War I had just ended in Europe. Because of the hostilities between the countries, not a lot of information sharing was going on. That's why Albert Einstein was really not known yet, besides with other German physicists. Luckily, Sir Arthur Eddington was listening and realized that he could be a part in testing Einstein's theory. There were a few different scientists involved in the project. One, of course, was Albert Einstein, whose theory we were testing. Another was William de Sitter, who was a Dutch physicist. He was the one that told Sir Eddington about Einstein's theory. Holland was a uh, neutral country during World War I, so they were able to get information from both sides fairly easily. Alongside Sir Eddington during the experiment was Sir Frank Watson Dyson. Sir Dyson was actually the one that came up with the experiment to measure the positions of the stars according to where the sun is during and after the solar eclipse. And then of course there was Sir Arthur Eddington who led the experiment in 1919. My role in the project was to measure the position of a star from the Hyades cluster that's next to the sun during and after the solar eclipse of 1919. We shook the physics community up pretty well. The fact that Einstein's theory of relativity was correct, thanks to ours and others after ours experiments, threw all of Newtonian physics into, into chaos. One point of Newtonian physics was that it predicted that the gravity of a star can deflect the path of a photon. Einstein's theory suggested that the star created a curve in space and that the photon simply followed the curve. This proved that gravity was a manifestation of the curvature of space. Einstein's theory changed how we viewed the universe entirely. So why was it so hard for the community to accept that Einstein was correct about relativity? Well, during our experiment, our team in Brazil's telescope warped and they, we were unable to count their da data with ours. That threw a lot of speculation at us from other scientists thinking that we had manipulated our data and were manipulating it closer to Einstein's uh, num uh, theory, which we didn't. They also questioned whether our images were of good enough quality to make a conclusion. Eventually, over the years, other physicists repeated our experiment and conducted others and got similar results to ours. Now, most all physicists accept Einstein's theory of relativity.